Hello, Sean. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? Very good, thank you. It's nice to have you yeah. in my in my channel, brother. It's great to it's great to be on here remotely. I love it. I wanted to talk today about how to be more professional at your gigs, and I wrote some points that I consider important. I wanted to hear your opinion. I would love to hear them. Well, I would say get there on time. I give myself two hours to set up. You give yourself two hours to set up? I give myself two hours. I set up in about an hour and 20 minutes, but I like to be there in case there's traffic, in case very often I find that the location isn't even ready for me to set up. There's well, like furniture on it. That's great. <laughs> that's a little more than I do. Yeah, I mean, I'm always on time for sure, but I always get there probably 30 minutes early because it takes me like 10 30 minutes. 10 minutes to that's set cool. up. Hmm? I, I, I want to be like you one day. I have a very quick setup. Mine, mine is a little less advanced than yours. Another thing that, that I think is uh, to dress appropriately. You're always nicely dressed, but I've seen musicians that get to the gig wearing like just shorts and, and wet sandals. If you're going to a wedding, this is kind of a little bit yeah, too much. <laughs> it is It is interesting. You know, you know what's funny though is like, if you're a hot girl, you can wear whatever and nobody cares. I remember <laughs> when, I, when I was gigging with like she would just be wearing like rags sometimes, <laughs> but like she's hot, so it's fine. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't have that luxury. I usually have to try to look somewhat presentable. Another one, um, try not to drink if you can. You know, well, you don't drink. I, I but don't. But for those try. who drink, I've been where I'm for a glass of wine, no problem. But for the most part, if you start drinking heavily at the gig, it just doesn't look good, right? right. Wouldn't you agree? I would 100% agree. Yeah, it blows. It blows <laughs> my mind. Drink again, so. It blows my mind how some guys will just be just like trash and like playing games. Exactly. I don't how know how weird they, is that? I don't know how they do it, but there's it, this there's this one guy I know who actually pulls it off. He made it part of his act. He will be drinking. He stuck his glasses one on top of each other. People are going crazy, and he's singing amazingly, and he's doing such a good show, and it's funny. Like, but. But yeah, that's the only one person I know that it's able to do something. Good, like good that. for him, you know. Congrats, <laughs> congrats. All right, another one. Discussing details with a client ahead of time. I think it's important to be on the same page if they're gonna want certain kind of music. If they're gonna require a microphone, a wireless microphone, for example. It's funny because I I didn't have a wireless mic for a long time, and I would have to like get my microphone, my wired microphone from my thing and. Who wants to share a microphone? It's like sharing your toothbrush. You know yeah, I mean? exactly. It's yeah, a no-no, yeah. right? Yeah, wireless is the way to go for sure. As a matter of fact, right now I'm using yours. Oh, yeah. The new PDP2, mm -hmm. Phoenix Pro. I took it last night to my gig. They ended up not needing it. It's so portable that you can just throw it in your baggie with oh, my yeah. cameras and stuff. And if they need it, it's right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you just plug it plug it in one side and then you have two mics. It's, yeah, it's awesome. But, but I would say, Try to talk beforehand, talk to your client if they're gonna need it, because you could actually be making money by offering as a service, as yes. an upcharge. Hey, do you need a microphone for 50 bucks? You can use my wireless mic. Say it yourself, offer it, offer it to them first, because a lot of times exactly. they won't even think about that ahead of time. And they'll be like, yeah, oh, exactly. that's an option. And then yeah, then you're good to go. Yeah. And then another, another tip is to have a good contract. So you protect it, so everything is written, right? Mm -hmm. Because totally. they can be the best client or whatever, but the night off, they want something else. Also, my bat my battery is gonna die soon. All right, I'm back on. Man, I look so much better with the iPhone light. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are your thoughts on on being professional for private events? Uh, I think. Or for you, events in general, for performing out. Well, if you aren't, you're not gonna get many more private events to perform at. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I think you know you deal with an agent a lot of the time, right? But yeah. I think if, if you're not having an agent that is actively seeking out gigs for you, the vast majority are gonna be word of mouth. So yeah. if you do keep it professional, that, that kind of reputation gets around quickly and then you'll be a go-to go -to source. Like, hey, this guy gets here on time, 100% of the time, never makes an unprofessional mistake. You don't have to worry about him mouthing off to the guests or whatever. This is this is the guy to hire. You know? Hopefully we can help some people out there. I hope, I sure, I sure into hope being so. entertainers. You know, the people need a lot of help. For Always. Sure. So, so we're, we're doing what we can. That's it. Cheers to mm -hmm. that, brother. Uh, right amen. On. See ya. Later.